5 and 10. Live. Okay, welcome back, folks. Well, if you haven't had enough of Bonk yet, <laughs> let's do some more. Matt, our Lat Mackie here with a uh, great John. John's still here. How you doing? I am still here. And now we are joined by the current world record holder, <laughs> uh, Lisa. How you doing? I'm doing all right. It's uh, been a weekend, but you know, <laughs> we're here. <laughs> Okay, so this is Bonk's Revenge, but this is a category we've never shown off at a marathon ever. Uh, John, why don't you tell us, what is the intermediate category and what's going to make this thing kind of interesting to watch? So this is for Bonk, for people who think that uh, Bonk's Revenge is a really hard game and you can't finish it because <laughs> it is a very hard game, especially at the end of the game. So this might have been the one you casually beat as a kid and it's like, oh, you beat it. Now beat expert mode. And it's like, oh, really? So there is an ending to this mode, but you only play four of the seven stages here instead of the whole game. And as speedrunning categories go, we have this uh, organized by the game mode. So there's the uh, beginner, intermediate, and expert categories are also the same difficulty modes in the game. All three of the modes have uh, um, endings to them. Obviously, the best ending or the true ending being from the expert category. And all that means, the, the difficulty is no different other than the amount of levels that you play. So... But if you're looking uh, for a good, like, oh, go ahead, John, what do you got? Actually, it does. It gives you some more hearts on the Oh, you're right. Difficulty. Thank you. Yes, so, you're yes. right. Yeah, which yeah. we get a bunch of hearts. Very good point. Yeah. My apologies. And maybe more lives as well. Not sure. This one's going to go lives, really quick. You get more hearts. Yeah. I'm sorry, say it again, Lisa. I was saying you get the same lives, but you get more hearts. Very good point. Um, we're going to try to to uh, call out all the stuff you see on the screen, but this is a pretty quick uh, speed run. So, um. There's a good chance Lisa will be in the lead. So Lisa, it, on, when you start hitting some of the more interesting stuff, feel free just to shout it out so we can, uh, so the folks know what they can see. Yeah, of course. Okay, <laughs> y'all ready? Yeah, make sure we get to the uh, mode select screen. Right? Yes, mode select. So we're gonna go to the mode select. I'm playing on the Japanese version. Uh, are you both of you playing on North American? Yes. Uh, yes. There is no difference except for graphics. So there actually, there are some item placements that are different, but not in this category. It wouldn't be until we get to the expert category, so. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Okay, well, here we go. Good luck, y'all. Three, luck. two, one, go. So here we are. This is, you know, in both of the last two games you saw, we actually didn't really use turbo a lot. In this game, we most definitely are. Yeah, for both jump and bonk, because if you're doing turbo on the bonk, then you're spinning. So you might have seen that if you've ever seen a bonk's adventure run. So we're going to use the turbo jump to get up these waterfalls really quickly. It's a big reason I prefer the, I mean, if you've, if you've ever played this game on the NES, there is Bonk's Adventure and Bonk's Revenge. Uh, spinning, you just have to mash, and it's just, it's not the same experience, to say the least. Not that I'm calling those versions out, but they're not, they're inferior, okay? Yes, I call them. <laughs> <laughs> they're inferior. It's largely the same game, but really poor graphics comparatively. Absolutely. Not to mention sound, too. We're getting to one of the first little skips here. It's a pond skip. Let's see if I can get it. Ooh, I did not get it. Oh, I did. So there you go. Uh, if you look at the... If you saw on my screen, there was a... Basically, we kind of spin across this pond in such a way that we hit the fissure and then carry on that momentum into the boss fight. Any category you run of Bonk's Revenge is going to be centered around trying to get and keeping meat because when you're fully powered up with meat, you're moving at the fastest the game has to offer. So a lot of our routing and all that kind of stuff has to do with how are we getting meat and how are we preserving our meat? That sounded a little meat weird. Meat maintenance. I didn't mean that. Yeah, meat maintenance. There we go. <laughs> maintenance? Maintenance? No. No. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm with Lisa on with that one. Else. <laughs> So in the last year or so, there's been uh, a bunch of interesting things happening in the RTA versions of this game. For those of us that you know run it real time, and a lot of that, a lot of that stuff is is for later on in the game. Interesting enough, in the expert categories, but uh, I would definitely say that Lisa has uncovered and continued to find new texture strats that are backup strats, things that are really helpful <laughs> when speedrunning the game, so you don't have to like reset soon. And really interesting stuff. Yeah, mm. shaving off those seconds. 
and this is a very tight speed run so it's like it's fairly unforgiving if you don't if you don't get the tricks like i'm already pretty far behind because i i've missed a couple tricks and so oh, if yeah. you don't get them you're going to be losing your time and it's it's like oh that'd be an instant reset but in a race setting it's a lot more fun because now you just have to keep going you you don't have a choice <laughs> So on this first boss, adjustment. yeah, exactly. Totally agree. And on this first boss, you'll notice that we did a, uh, we're doing a bunch of ground pounding. That's because you can damage the boss just by. You're going to take that meat power up and try to take it all the way through to the mini boss on this level. Well, John, because I know you were practicing. Hey, I still am not consistent with it, so I didn't do it. Yeah, so there's the little bit of a route difference between our runs is that I'll be grabbing meat here to carry into the next level. And it just makes it... Um, when Bonk has meat power, he actually moves faster, and as was mentioned earlier. So if we can maintain that through multiple levels, then we'll be saving even more time. And you'll notice that it goes within the level, and as you can take it, if you go on to the next stage, the meat still goes with you. So we use yep. that from one to two, and then also within the stages as well. I didn't get really the, the cool uh, mechanic. The, I didn't get the bonus game of shame. We're okay. Oh, that's good. <laughs> There's one that I tend to get, so I'll uh, I'll point that out when I get there. There are a bunch of different Definitely. bonus games, which makes the game really... There's a lot of uh, extra playability in the game, a lot of fun things you can do, but um, obviously at a speed run, <laughs> any bonus you're trying to avoid. <laughs> exactly. I think we're all on Cloud Ruins, it looks like now, but we're all at various points. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. being so the, I the boss now. here, we try to actually intentionally take damage and try to spin within the boss because you can kind of damage it, you know, Invincibility frames allow you to spin but still hit the boss, so that's what we try to do for the second boss. I'm going to take it a little bit safer. It's it's just that it's uh, very difficult to pull off. There we go. I got it. I can't believe I was talking while I did that. Yeah, that was impressive. <laughs> so, uh, one of this game is uh, available on uh, you know on emulator and also on Wii Virtual Console and some other places and the the Turbo Sixty Mini. Um, if you can play this game with your turbo buttons mapped, it's actually quite nice. It's it's definitely preferable, especially for the speed runs. Um, I enjoy playing on like the original console if I can. So I am playing with switches. So. If you see the turbo go on and off, that's actually me flipping a switch on and off. And that's just, although I'm playing on Mr. Tonight, uh, I, that's my, my preference. And it, it, I don't know if it really costs me anything, but it does make, it does add an extra layer of some of things to make your brain think about it. I did not get the flower of shame, so did not get a bonus stage, which is good. Also, shout out to John's uh, Fox Adventure Run at GDQ, where he was actually playing with switches and switching them on and off during the run. <laughs> It's, it's tough. Oof. Stage three is one of my favorites, uh, but it, there it, it, it can be a little bit punishing. There's most everything here in stage three needs to be kind of exact. <laughs> yeah, I I lost my uh, my meat because I got hit barely by an enemy and lost about three or four seconds just by doing that. All yeah, of us are going to take this. Okay. make a lot of things real fun. <laughs> this bonk just kind of slides all over the place. Well, there wouldn't be an 8 or 16 bit platformer if there weren't uh, you know, ice physics at some point in the game. It's a whole ice world, of course. Both of us are going to be, or, I'm sorry, all three of us are going to be taking the uh, bottom route here for this part of the game. And. Even if you lose your meat here, you can actually keep some of your momentum going, but I am not doing that very successfully. Yeah, Lisa's got some great strats. So like, if you don't have the meat, you can still get some, some good speed going off the ice, like, just by going yeah. down the ramps. Totally. I cannot do it. 
So this third boss, there's uh, ice snowballs that fall down. We have to maneuver Bonk around the snowballs, otherwise he'll get hit. Um, the funny thing is if you don't have meat, you can actually avoid them a lot easier. <laughs> so weird, yeah. Yeah. Very unforgiving fight again. If you, if you lose your meat in this fight, you're going to be having a bad time. Yeah. Yeah, so we only saw like three cycles of, you know, we keep the meat going through the whole fight. But if we don't, then we have to watch her spin back and forth a lot of times. And there's no way to hit her unless she stops. Had a good pattern for the first jump, not so long. Oh, I just got hugged. Oh, <laughs> ah. okay, I'm gonna have to do go left, cycles. go left. He went left. I did right, not catching up a little bit of time, like one second. <laughs> Take it where you can get it. It might come mm -hmm. down to that. For the beginner in the intermediate categories, if you're shaving off a second or two, you're actually feeling pretty good about that because the run is so short. Especially yeah, in the these runs are very optimized at this point. But if you're looking for a speed run under five minutes, let me uh, recommend the beginner category. Great speed run, fun leaderboard, a lot of runs. Oops. There's a lot of runs on practice, yep. Yeah. Practice, thank you, not beginner, practice. So I coming like... up here is the first skip. <laughs> good luck. Yep. Did what are we looking at in the first skip? No, my T-Rex was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> see if I could do a little better. There's actually two skips in a row, so the oh, two major skips perfect. in the run. I did not get the cutscene skip, though. Oof. If you're positioned in the correct location, you can actually skip the ending little outro cutscene, as we call it. And it actually is in the beginner category. You have to get those <laughs> for a world I record the, or to be competitive. I got the first skip, what I think is the harder one. Because there's more of a backup. Hey. Like one. First time we've seen both skips in one run. That's right, that actually is the first time in a race that both runners, <laughs> two runners have gotten that. Okay, I actually had a pretty good mini boss fight. Or was it, or was it uh, actually one of the two at all? <laughs> Didn't you both miss the skip? I forgot now. I got the first skip, okay. I can't, yeah, it's been so, I don't remember. Yeah, I think what happened was it, at least you both missed one skip, and that was like enough to make it even. Maybe. Make it right on. Okay, that makes sense. That I, I don't remember sense. if it was the same or not. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Second skip. Got two skips. Two skips. Did you get it to that? Yes, I got both skips. Yay! Wow, we got all oh, the we all skips. Got Yay, them. okay. Insanely good, insanely good. I'm, I'm, about I'm to gonna turn off my boss. console now. The run is over. Don't need to finish. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa's dominated just as we thought. Oops. There was a possibility I could do it upset, but I would have had to not make any mistakes. <laughs> and she would have had to make all the mistakes, basically. And Didn't secretly... I get one cycle. Oh, All right, okay. I'll see we if I can chance. get a one yeah. cycle. Show that off. I'm actually doing it slow. Ooh, I'm actually having a terrible Captain Cook fight. John, you have a chance. Go. Cycle. I missed one <laughs> oh, cycle. God. Oh, he spawned on the wrong side. I don't like oh. this side. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm having the worst time getting back up. Me too. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> you get the chance. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I, I had my chance and I okay. blew it. I blew it. There we go. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I had a chance. Dang it. I had a window. We both just there it was. Up. There it was. I should have done it too. We both we both messed it up. That's Whoa. crazy. We usually have such clean fights too. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. This <laughs> boss is somewhat trivial. It's a... Uh... Wow. Oh, yeah. Until it becomes a run, it's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> For a race, yep. In a race, the, the, the pressure sets in, you know? Mm -hmm. But we get to see the ending now. But it in are, and, and ending. <laughs> now your expert level. Now your expert level. Okay, well, I didn't finish too far behind you, so. <laughs> yeah, I'll right. take that. I think Maybe you can get a race PB because we we didn't have that many races. No, I, yeah, I did, for me it's definitely a race PB. So. Mm. And. Uh, well, this is the first oh, time we've had an intermediate race, right? Well, we've done the the ones on race. Oh, right, but yeah, right. for a marathon, yeah. this was this was the very first. The winner is you. There you go, dog developer. <laughs> I love that. Now everybody's <laughs> expert level. Wow, I can't believe both Lisa and I. Uh, <laughs> that was on that insane. Fight. Yeah, 
I, secretly, I, I was hoping seen maybe. a Captain Cook fight like that in a long time. <laughs> yeah, mine was on the left, and that threw everything off for some reason. I oh, was no. like just too far to the right. So yeah, like everything went a little badly. But hey, we all beat it. Great. The, those skips are really important if you do want to, you know, start your your journey into bonk speedrunning. Those skips are pretty much the the first thing you should learn in this game. And you should learn how to, the mechanics work and everything. But those skips are gonna shave minutes off of your time. They're about a minute each if you miss them. So it's a uh, helpful yeah. to get that going there's a lot of videos out there now with uh different tricks that we're doing during the runs now especially like little recoveries even through the skips there that were just discovered recently which is a great thing to thank you lisa for bringing that up if you're interested in all of this we actually have a bonk discord yes. <laughs> And uh, it, we're, we're a small community, but uh, passionate. And so if you're at all interested in, in, in playing the games casually or speedrunning, we're, we're, we're friend to both. <laughs> the, the Bonk Discord is up on the uh, speedrun.com leaderboard. So if you, on any of the, if you go to any of the Bonk games, you'll find the Bonk leaderboard there. I mean, the Bonk uh, Discord. And please join us. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, Zah, exactly. You, Bonk's Adventure, Bonk's Revenge, Bonk 3. Mm -hmm. Don't play Bong Three. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, <laughs> oh, I'll come play Bong Three. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird one. It's a little weird. So, uh, but if you're at all interested and you want to see uh, both John and Lisa at any given moment, can be world recording this game. They run this game at a very high level. Uh, Lisa, where can people find you if they want to see some Bong speedrunning? Uh, I guess my channel. That's <laughs> yeah. I think I they'll post our. Uh, oh, they post. I think okay, they're gonna fantastic. Post it. Okay. They oh, usually yeah, post yeah. runners in, uh, in the stream chat. Yeah, we'll see. Fantastic. Yeah, so that works. I think we already... John, did we give you a shout-out too? Great John. Twitch.tv slash great John. Yeah, huh? Uh, anything else? Do we need, what else? Do we, go play this. Go play this game. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. We should come to up. 16. <laughs> Goodness. Absolutely. Newtopia coming up next. The Inspiration. For Nintendo Zelda, and uh, no, we're, 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 we're yes, we're sticking to that. Okay, so <laughs> stick around; it's gonna be fun. Thanks, y'all, for the race. Game. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, thank See you. Ya. Have a good night.